What's up? It's your boy Jing. Yes, Clex back at it with another NFT video. I'm not doing a pack opening this time. This time we're going to talk about my top five grails from all the NFT slash drop drops they've done over the past year, year and a half to two years. Actually, I'm not sure how long uh, they've been dropping. I'm not sure when the uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, pack first dropped. I think that was their first or second drop that they've done from uh, from Funko. Uh, but let's just say two years. So over the past two years, my top five grails out of each set that they have done. So well, before we get started though, make sure y'all like and subscribe um so that people can see my video and can get out there to, to more people to see and enjoy my video so if y'all like the videos that i drop hit that like and that subscribe button and hit a comment at the bottom if you got something to say uh so let's start off with number five my uh number five grail or top grail uh or number five grail is going to be the azrael batman so it's a lot that goes into this. So the reason for me for it being number five is that it's some it's some it's some mystique or some mysterious uh, uh, behind him because I don't really know who Azrael Batman is. So I had to look up a little bit about uh, Azrael Batman to kind of get an idea of who he is and why why did Funko slash Drop decide to make him a grill out of all the other ones that was in this set. Um, so I researched a little bit about him. Basically, he's not. Uh, Bruce Wayne or Bruce Banner or I'm sorry let's say Bruce Banner. He's not Bruce Wayne. He is a different guy that takes the mantle after Bruce Wayne dies. According to what I looked up, you know, it's Google so you know, it, it, it sometimes is not entirely accurate. Um, but he's from the church. He's one of the warriors of like some church or so. I, I forget what it was exactly. Uh, but he's a more brutal, more more deadlier, more willing to kill you type of Batman um, over Bruce Wayne, obviously. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. I've never really seen anything with Azrael Batman. They haven't made, not that I've seen, they could have, but no, uh, he's not been in any, obviously, live action movies or TV series or any animated, you know, movies or uh, live action movies or TV series. Not that I've seen, I could be wrong. Um, Y'all can correct me in the, in the comments if I am incorrect, but I got him because it was it was tough to get because they had a hundred thousand packs of these total cards. I think were over a million cards. So it was only a, uh, after they burned a good third of the packs. They burned a lot of these packs because they didn't sell out. They made too many of them. Um, but with the ones they burned and the ones that are available, it was very hard to get this one. So I was glad that I was able to get this one in my collection. Um, and I didn't know a lot about him, so I had to do a little bit of research on him to find out who he is. Plus the mold just was cool. I like the way that they did the mold of this one. So that's my number five. Um, what do y'all think? Uh, I like it. Let me know in the comments if y'all like it. So let's go straight to number four. Number four would have to be no other than Wild E. Coyote. <laughs> I really like this one. This one's gonna be the most unique grill in my opinion because they actually made him look like he was smashed into kind of like a, uh, what's the thing called the uh, that you play? I forget the name of it, but an instrument that you play uh, in kilts typically. Uh, what is the instrument called? I forget what the instrument is called, but you guys know what I'm talking about maybe. But he smashed uh, into that type of form. His arm is kind of broken, twisted, and his eye is loopy from being, you know, from falling off of a, a mountainside or whatever, or a, uh, yeah, off, off a cliff, basically. But it's the most unique um, out of all of them, in my opinion. Uh, and also, uh, the reason why it's number four and not higher up on this list because they already have a Wiley e. Coyote. They had a Funko Shop exclusive uh, that already made this character. So he's not new character to Funko Shop, but the mold and everything in it is new, it's limited, and I think it's pretty cool. So that's my number four. Uh, number three have to be no other than the legendary Tommy. No, 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 no. Well, the Green Ranger um, would be number three. Uh, now, the reason why the Green Ranger is number three 
um, and not higher up as well because they have a lot of Green Rangers. I don't know how many they made. They made at least two or three different Green Rangers, and this would be like the latest of the installment of Green Rangers. Uh, but uh yeah i like the green ranger mode a lot i wish i was able to get that grail it eluded me the entire time and i've tried a few times so number three would have to go to the green ranger rest in peace my boy uh and then number two my number two is going to be Daenerys targaryen with egg now Number, it's number two is pretty high up, and I don't know if a ton of people like this, but I'm a big fan, or was a big fan, and still am a big fan of Game of Thrones. The only thing that kind of ruined it for a lot of people was the final episode of Grand, uh, final season um, of Game of Thrones. Now, it, was, it wasn't the best, right? They rushed it, and they wanted to get on to other things. Everyone knows that, right? Uh, but I still like the characters and the way they developed those characters throughout the seasons of Game of Thrones. So I still like Game of Thrones. It's just disappointing the way they ended it. So I really like Daenerys too. A lot of people that watch Game of Thrones really watched it for Daenerys. And she kind of broke down and probably got on a lot of people's bad sides again on that last season she kind of went crazy because of things that happened to her her best friend died her uh, uh, right hand died and um, a lot of things happened with her throughout the series and made her kind of go um, a little crazier than what she's been the initial impression of, of, of who Daenerys was when she was Khaleesi right um, but I really like the show. I really like the Funko Pop, her with the egg. I wish I was able to get this one again. Uh, I was not able to obtain this one. Not yet. I still got a little bit of time to try and get her, but I wasn't able to get her. Um, so hopefully I will be able to get her before they do the redemption period. Uh, but that's my number two. Uh, and number one, and y'all probably can guess this one. It's going to be no other than my man, Fire Nation Aang. Bruh, if y'all, y'all, I don't know if y'all even know this, I'm really big into anime. I really love uh, uh, anime. I watch a lot of it. I'm really into, right now, currently into Chainsaw Man because it's the newest and, you know, a lot of people like it. I like the anime also, uh, Spy Family. Um, just now getting into that one as well. Um, and a few others. Obviously, Demon Slayer, My Hero, all that stuff like that, right? Uh, but Fire Nation ain't kind of hit when they came out with a grill announcement for them. It was a perfect grail for the set first the set the legendary and grails for the avatar set wasn't really that great i like the um was it the lady the uh hey what is her name the the enchanted lady no you guys know what i'm talking about the legendary the uh the painted lady right i really like the painted lady uh the way he did her is really well but obviously ang fire nation ang it hadn't been done before they made a lot of different Angs uh, throughout the years as far as Funko goes, but the Fire Nation Ang with the hair, with the headband, covering it up in the Fire Nation outfit, bro. Bro, that was it. I, that was uh, the last Avatar, um, the last Airbender uh, was my, one of my favorite anime slash cartoon slash whatever you want to put it in uh, bracket American anime uh, that I've seen. I love that. Like that was my favorite at the time when it came out. Uh, then they came with Legend of Korra. I don't really like that one at all. I think they kind of botched that one. Uh, and supposedly coming out with a new one. It's going to be the uh, Avatar. As the, uh, he's going to be a uh, Earth bender uh, primarily until he learns all the other uh, elements. Uh, but one of my favorite cartoons, American animes, The Last Airbender, the grill they made for this one was perfect in my eyes. And that's my number one. So, I'm going to pass the question to you guys. What's your top five or what's your favorite grail out of all the different sets that Funko has came out with over the last, let's just say, two years? Um, that's my top five. Sticking with it. Y'all let me know y'all opinion. And we'll go from there. Let's start the discussion. It's your boy, Gene. Yes.